everybody, this is Kara, AKA the Principal Painter. I have another video for you tonight that is a little bit different. Don't worry, I will still be doing diamond painting unboxings. I will still be doing all of the same things that I did in 2022, but in 2023, as all of you know from my last video, it is all about organizing, organization, getting my craft room into shape. So Kara, what is this mess you have on your table? And it is a mess, but it's going to get organized. These are all my sparklers. Anybody else have a problem with DP with sparklers, with Tima? Not a problem with the company, but just buying from the company because they're so beautiful and she keeps coming out with new and new and new. So I have all these lovely little, um, <laughs> what I thought was organizational for rounds, for squares, for crystals, for ABs. I also have, um, you know, these are her new bling bling big round, um, you know, crystals. I have the two ABs that I got from Diamond Art Club in my uh, advent calendar. I keep all of my ABs and sparklers kind of <laughs> all together if you can call boxes. Um, this is a plastic throwaway container, glass container, another plastic, a zip, you know, a zipper pouch, slay all day. That's what I'm going to be doing tomorrow is slaying all day because uh, we will be doing another video tomorrow about the craft room. And what did I do? What did I do? She came out with new stuff. So what do I do? Bought more. Bought more because, you know, I can't help myself, but these are new. She keeps coming out with new stuff that I have to have in squares and in rounds. Here is my lovely invoice from Tima. If you have not shop shopped at DP with sparklers, you need to get on there. I know I'm not being a very good example here, but they can bling up a canvas like no other. I mean, if I'm going to replace, I am going to replace with DP with sparklers. Nobody else. Okay, she puts her wonderful business card. I love Tina. She is a sweet friend of mine. I uh, have met her on several occasions along with her wonderful husband. She has a beautiful family and it's a family run operation. Um, she also put in with my order, Strawberry Kiwi Mary Mud. Use code TMA10 for 10% off. Um, this, where is this from? Sample provided courtesy of Mary Making. Oh my goodness. Mary Making and more. So this is uh, some diamond painting mud that you can put in your diamond painting pen. Packing slip. Okay, let's get that out of the way. What did I buy new? Well, I had to do it, guys. I had to do it. She came out with these drills they're not AB drills. They have glitter on the top of the drills. Can you like really, can they see it? Look at the top of these drills. It has, gl they have glitter in them, like glitter on the top of the drills. I got some in green. Again, these are not ABs, they're not sparklers. You can really see the glitter much better in the blues. You see she's there there are there's glitter in the top of these drills. So I got some in green and blue. These are squares. Here are some more glitter drills, uh, kind of an orangish red. And then she came out with bubbles. Bubbles, I don't even know what to say. It looks, I mean it almost looks like gel in this bag. These are brand new as well. They're called bubbles. These are for rounds. This was a New Year's commemorative pack that you got several colors in. Look at this gorgeous blue. But if you look, I mean, it looks like there's gel in there, but they're not. They are rounds and they are glass. So these, um, again, are the colors. Look at these amazing colors. Um, some of them do look a B ish like these, um, these, uh, these are bubbles. Wait, all of these are for square. Okay. So I must've gotten them for squares. Remember some of her product are, uh, they look round, but they are four squares. And once you put them down on the canvas, you cannot tell, but look at these gorgeous colors. These are her bubble. Oh, look at river. Oh my gosh. Here is, um, that's Tara, like a terracotta. And again, it looks like there's gel in there because that glass is so shiny. So those are some colors that I got in the commemorative New Year pack along with Luna, which is a pearl slash clear uh, 
bubble, but all of these are for squares. I forgot whether I ordered them for rounds or for squares. So I have all of these, the glitter, the bubbles, the ABs, the sparklers, the crystals. I mean, they're all here and they're all in different containers. I can hardly keep track of them. I need to organize them. So one thing that I got um, my friend Brandy, Mystery of Diamonds, is an affiliate for Art Dot, and I got two products from Art Dot that I'm going to show you tonight that I'm going to use to organize this mess. All of this came off of the counter on my chest of drawer, drawers that I showed you the other night. Remember the one I chalk painted, so this kind of cleared a little bit of space off. But I got this from Art Dot, and I loved it. Brandy showed me hers. I had to get one because I just had to. Um, and I felt like this was a great organizational piece. Let me get it out of the box. I'm dumping it upside down. I hope it doesn't fall apart on me. Ooh. All right. You can purchase these. They're drawers, okay? And now that I've dumped it upside down, all these little containers are going to be cattywampus all over the place. But they are drawers, okay? I'm wanting to say... Let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, five, six, seven, eight. 48 bottles per drawer, okay? So they're all filled and I like these. Um, these hold a great many drills. I have some of these in my traveling cases and they work great, but guess what else these hold? If you don't like these, and you like the big Tic Tac containers, they hold the big Tic Tac containers as well, and the drawers close just fine. Oh my gosh. So, in addition, on the top of this four drawer system, I've got so much to show you, I'm so excited. On the top of this four drawer system is this, and it's another organizational piece where you can put wax, you can put pens, you can put cover minders, whatever you need, and it's in its own little container. I mean, it is great. I'm gonna have to work a little bit to get these drawers open because I've dumped over some of the bottles, but whoa, I'm telling you, it's all over the place. Marlon's having to catch it for me. So what I'm going to do is, uh, another thing that it comes with is this. If you've not seen these, um, these have been around for a while, but for those of you that may be new to the diamond painting world, these are great. They're like silicone or rubber funnels and you can collapse them or poke them out. You put this down in the bottle. Let me show you real quick. Unscrew the top, put this down, and when, then when you're dumping your drills in, they don't spill um, all over the place, which is great. And then when you're ready to put it away, it collapses to a nice flat, um, little flat thing. And in addition to that, what you get with this also, and it is very reasonably, reasonably priced. I think I paid like 30 bucks for this. It comes with labels. So you can label each bottle with what, uh, what is in here. So this will be plenty. You can get this particular setup with two drawers. I went ahead and got four drawers because I have so many of these crystals and sparklers and ABs and now glitter and you know all kinds of things that um, I needed to make sure I had plenty. So I think two drawers I will dedicate to rounds and two drawers I will dedicate to squares. And again, these are nice, you know, nice clear drawers so you can label the outside very nicely with rounds and squares. So I'll be able to tell. So that is one thing that I'm going to do to get my sparklers organized so it will be one thing rather than all of this mess okay um that is the first thing i have to show you now i was also talking with marlin i have a lot a lot a lot of diamond paintings under our bed in our master bedroom do we not yes we do uh-huh uh -huh. And Marlon's like, okay, Kara, what are you gonna do with those? What are you gonna do with all the diamond paintings you've gotten completed, but they're under our bed in the master bedroom? And I didn't know. Well, I was looking on Facebook one day and in one of the groups, sorry, I'm trying to set all this on the floor. In one of the groups, don't ask me which group, this woman was talking about what she got for Christmas and she had gotten this item and I was like, okay, I've got to have it. 
It is also from Art Dot. It is my diamond art storage book. It is a huge portfolio. Came in a big old box. I mean, the box was ginormous. Okay, let me get this out of the plastic. So I haven't even looked at this, so you know I haven't cheated. But I'm excited because I am well on my way to really getting some organization done. This is also very reasonably priced and it holds very large, obviously, uh, diamond paintings. So at the bottom, you can label um, your portfolio what you want to label it. At the bottom, it has a Velcro clasp. You unclasp it. And then inside, it has, let me open up my big storybook here. <laughs> it looks like a big storybook, right? Um, I'm not going to fiddle around with these too much, the clasps that hold the plastic pages in. Um, I do not know whether they come. Again, I, I'll play around with them. I'm sure they could come out if you would like them to. But look how big these sheets are. I mean, they're really, really big. Now, what I'm trying to figure out is this. Why? Okay. Can you hold that for me? I'm gonna turn this around really quickly. Do these sheets come out? I'm gonna knock over my candles. Okay, well, you know, if they get knocked over, they get knocked over, I'll figure it out. Okay, how do they come out? Okay, there's some tape. Maybe this is just the plastic on the outside of it that's holding it. I'm thinking it is, I'm ruin it. Okay. I'm yeah, thinking, not quite sure how this outer bag comes off. Okay, let me just do this. Because these are the portfolio pages, I'm telling you. Um, are there scissors over there, honey? Okay. Okay. Ooh, I'm gonna knock over my hand. Okay. Yeah. I'm gonna cut this because this is just plastic. I'm not gonna cut, I promise I won't cut my portfolio pages. I don't wanna do that. Okay, can you hold those please? Okay. Um, I'm certain there is a way to get this out, but I'm not gonna fight with it right now, nor am I going to have you sit through it. But look at these portfolio pages. They're huge, like huge. Now, I am wondering how you get the paint, how do you get the paintings in? Thank you, and put this off. Do you unclip it? It probably came with instructions, too. Ah, well, duh. Okay, I'm an idiot. You can take the pages out. All right, we're taking the pages out. We're just destroying the entire thing. All right, there's the plastic. All right, I'm assuming that... Yes. Okay, so there's the opening. So you have to take them out of the little, the little clips. And, you know, if I can take these out, anyone can. You just clip them down, clip them up. Now, I'll show you, if I can... Woo, this is a, an act, okay? So I've got, I'm wondering if Casilla can fit in here. I've got some diamond paintings that I finished. So the ones that I'm not gonna hang up that I'm gonna put in the portfolio, I have several. This one I'm not even done with, but I'm gonna try to put her in here. Her dimensions on here, Casilla's dimensions are a 56 by 71 centimeter, which is a good size diamond painting. It's not like huge, but look how big, for the sake of space. So glad my cameraman is behind the camera. Can you take that for me so that I'm not fighting with him? Okay, so this is one of the pages. You also have other pages that are divided, which I will show you momentarily, so I'm gonna need that back in a second. Okay, I'm thinking, can Cassia fit in here? Oh, easily, easily. So. Just stick your diamond painting in. <laughs> you guys have really watched for the past two videos me struggling and fighting, but that is okay. That is, like I said, that's vulnerability. That's real stuff. This is the real deal here. Mm -hmm. But look, it fits a rather large diamond painting. So what am I holding over? Oh, I got another diamond painting in there. I'll show you that in a second. It fits a large diamond painting in this portfolio sleeve. Now, here's the problem. 
you have got a little bit of hangover uh, to where you're, you would have to cut the outside of your border, not, um, not up to the diamonds by any means, but you'd have to cut it so that you could snap this back into the portfolio. But look how big this painting is, and it really holds very nicely a nice sized diamond painting. It also has pages that are divided in half. So if you had a painting like this one, I'm not a craft hoarder, I'm the curator of an extensive sparkly diamond art kit collection, you could put that in one side, right? Because it goes here. And then here's another little one that you could put on the other side. So this will hold quite a few diamond paintings that are, I think the largest it would hold is like a 60 by 60 if I'm not mistaken. Um, again, this is a 56 by 71, so um, you could go up to a 60 length, um, and I would say a 60 width. So that is great. Here's another uh, craftably diamond painting that I have completed. These are not going to be put in the portfolio. These are going to be hung. This would fit very easily in here. Um, do I have the dimensions? This is a 24 by 18 inch. Craftably does theirs in inches. Here is a Hannah Lynn that I completed. This is a 42 by 60. I mean, look, it would fit this very easily. So um, to get organized with your diamond paintings, if you're not gonna frame them and hang them on your walls, this would be a great way to get them out from under your bed or wherever you're storing them. Brush them off because I got a lot of lint on these um, and put them in these nice plastic sleeves and then you've got them all contained in your portfolio. And again, that portfolio is from ArtDot. I will link them below. You guys know I'm terrible about linking stuff, but go to ArtDot. Um, I did get my organizational trays from uh, Amazon. So ArtDot does sell on Amazon, but they do have a website as well. And um, I'm excited about these two um, organizational uh, tools. Also, what um, you can do if you haven't already thought about this is I've got Casilla on one side. You could flip it over, put another diamond painting on the other side with the painting faint facing outwards, and you've got two diamond paintings in one sleeve. So you can double up your storage on your diamond paintings. So that I was excited about to show you tonight. So those are my first two organizational pieces that um, I'm going to definitely be using to start organizing myself and my craft room. Now, one of the diamond paintings I have got is this one. And remember the other night, I told you that Distracted by Diamonds has a sealer now. It is on her site on Etsy, Distracted by Diamonds. Thank you, cameraman. You knew exactly what I was going for. It is this. It is diamond painting sealer and puzzle glue. It is an all-in-one sealer. Um, just squeezed a little bit out. It's got a foam top. For those of you that didn't see the last video, um, it's got a foam top and you squeeze it out and you spread it over and let it dry overnight. I purposefully sealed this one because it was small, and if I ruined it, it was a small one. I didn't want to ruin it because I loved it, and it had both AB drills and regular drills in the painting, and you can see this sealer, and I put one coat. I can, I can tell that it's definitely sealed, but you can still very much see the sparkle on these AB drills. They're AB drills in the hat and the stripes of the hat. Um, they're green ABs down here, over here. So you can very much still see the sparkle and the shine on all of the drills. So would I recommend this product? Yes, it is a recommend. So if you are a person that seals your diamond paintings, I know there are some of you that are not. That is totally fine, whatever floats your boat. Um, or if you are a sealer, I would recommend this diamond painting sealer and puzzle glue because, again, it did not take the shine. You can see it's super shiny still off of these drills. So that was a win for me. Um, again, this is on the Distracted by Diamonds um, shop on Etsy. I highly recommend. Um, it did not take any of the shimmer and shine. And I'm hoping the camera is picking that up because I am seeing... You know, I'm still see. it looks like the same diamond painting before I sealed it. So 
there's a lot of shimmer and a lot of shine. And those ABs still, all together now, shim, shim, shimmy, shimmer, just a little bit more. Okay, so that is show and tell. Plans for the craft room. All right, so tomorrow, this kind of began the whole process. I've been, you know, picking up some things to organize with, and I'll continue every week to show you my progress on my craft room and what I am purchasing in order to organize. I am going to try to keep it cost effective. I'm not gonna buy a whole bunch of stuff that I don't need. What I do need and what I know I need to do is go vertical, like I said. So tomorrow, the objective, and I will video this entire thing. I'm clearing off the floor. I've written notes, I have planned. I'm clearing off the floor to my craft room. Everything on that floor is coming out here, which will motivate me to get it all back in because I don't want a mess in the middle of my house. Um, it's all coming out. That way I can move around in my craft room. We are taking a trip tomorrow to Ikea. Will I video? Yes, I'll video a little bit in Ikea. I'll video to a point where people don't think I'm a weirdo talking to myself in Ikea, but um, I'll, I will show you anything that we buy. I'm also planning on buying some curtain rods or dowel rods that hang on a wall to put my washi tape and my DIY crafting ribbon on for wreaths and all of that. Um, and those can hang on the wall and organize all of, uh, all of my washi tape and all of my ribbon. So those are my two planned purchases for tomorrow. I still don't know what I'm gonna purchase in the way of containers for drawers or what have you. I haven't even started thinking about that. All I wanna do right now is clear off my floor and get what's on the floor organized and get some shelving going because a lot of what's on the floor are DIY things. And I'm going to take the bins that once held my drills, once I get my drills back together with my diamond paintings, and those will be empty bins, so I can then put DIY crafting items in those and um, store those on the shelving units. So there is a plan, there is a method to my madness, but I just wanted to share these two organizational things from Art. Uh, so that you could take a look at them and uh, get some ideas on how to uh, organize your drills, what have you, but um, you know, I don't store my leftover drills like this. I use another method to do that, but for my sparklers, if you're like me and have, oh, we got a hair on there, it's my hair. Um, if you have sparklers that you need to organize and have been wondering uh, how to do that, uh, I love this. I absolutely love the system and uh, the fact that I can put two, two I, again, you can buy it in two or four. I need the four for sure. Um, I'll do two round and two squares. So that is what I've got for you tonight. Can you tell I'm excited? I really am getting excited about organizing. I'd also like to thank everybody for your sweet comments uh, about the craft room. And um, I wish all of you lived closer so you, so you could come help me um, organize. That would be super fun. If you're new to the channel and you haven't hit the subscribe button, I would love for you to become part of the Painter family. Please do that. It's a free way to help support my channel. Also, if you liked what you saw, I will link Art Dot and I will link Distracted by Diamonds below so that you know where to go to purchase these should you be interested. Um, hit the like button. That's another uh, way to uh, help me and my channel as well. And I will leave you with this and I'll see you tomorrow in a world where you can be anything. Be kind. This is the Principal Painter and I am signing off.